Yeah, we got here at 2.30. It's about 6.30 right now. Walking back to the car. Gonna finish it up. I like walking until dusk. I'll start the day three or four hours before dusk, and we will finish right up at darkness. Why? Because any werewolf would say the same. So I just met another person who had a dog. I got a little beagle, and just walked with her for a while. Keeps the dog on leash. It's three years old. She's kept her dog on leash for the first three years of its life. She never lets it off leash, ever. I have six dogs right now off leash for the last four hours. I was walking with her, and I said, don't you think that if you see something Somebody walking six dogs off leash for four hours that when they're not even my dogs that maybe you could attempt to do that with your dog for like five seconds when it is your dog. Can we try that? We didn't try it, but I just wanted to kind of go over that because I was trying to explain to her. Yes, you have to work with each dog individually when you first get it. It's a bunch of baby steps that you have to graduate. Baby steps. Like dropping the leash indoors and calling the dog back to you multiple times with the leash on. When dog or puppy comes to you inside the house with the leash on, you graduated to go like halfway outside, halfway inside. Now try to throw something outside or whatever. Get the dog to go out a little bit, walk down the corridor going outside or out the door a little bit, then call him right back in. So he's outside when you're making the command. Third baby step, once you graduate that, practice a bunch of times, just go into the backyard. It's gonna be all backyard, dropping the leash, come command training. So what you're gonna do, backyard or somewhere just outdoors where the dog's safe, drop the leash, walk a few steps back and call them to you, okay? When the dog is coming to you regularly, off leash, with the leash drop on your own property or some safe spot, you're now ready to take the dog to a park and attempt to drop the leash five more seconds and get the dog to listen to you at the park. None of this is hard. Environments change the rules in dogs' heads, so you have to switch things up constantly, switch up the environment, and get the dog to actually listen to you in multiple types of environments. As you can see, no one can really see. It's getting dark. It's very annoying that people have no trust in their dogs. They have zero trust for years. This like poor little beagle is spending the first three years of his life on leash for no reason. It's just because the owner's scared. Yeah, I get it if you're scared to lose your dog so you practice in safe spots like a responsible, intelligent human being. Set them up for success, which means make them succeed at what you want before you're actually in the heat of the moment. Out for real. It's like trying to go fight war before you even know how to shoot a gun. Don't take your dog out practicing come command if you're afraid it's gonna run away when it's not ready. Prepare it to be ready by practicing indoors and in your own yard before you drop the leash at a park. I'm gonna work with her more. I feel really bad because I see her. I've seen her for three years now and the dog's always on leash and it drives me crazy. So here we are after four hours walking with six dogs that aren't even mine off leash for four hours. Four hours, there they all are. They look tired. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's called content dogs, okay? Tired dog's a good dog. Did you ever hear that saying? A tired dog's a good dog. Why do you think that's the case? Because they're wolves and they're not human. They're not you. See you in the next video.